we are about to be around some moving heavy equipment. Now, most of this week has been stationary, pretty heavy equipment at the show. However, Liebherr also has a testing ground outside of the show, which is where we are right now. We just took their VIP shuttle because we are VIPs, and now we are going to test their machines. So they have a big old excavator over there that we're gonna go run right now. And then there's a material handler with a grapple, and I wanna grapple some stuff. And then maybe we'll give their wheeled excavators a shot. There is a lot of equipment out here, all to have fun with. Uh, so let's go have a shot. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Uh, Are we able to? We, we can get in it and run it. Uh, you want to go and pilot? Pilot? Yeah. Yes. Do you, yeah. do you want to drive? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. 972 excavator, roughly 70 ton machine, similar size in uh, like a 374. Uh, what size bucket is on here? 4.5 cubic meters. 4.5 cubic meters. I'm going to try to fill the bucket on my own, and then we're going to test out their bucket assist feature, which I guess assists you filling up the bucket. We're, we're putting the bucket fill assist on right now. So I have my bucket all the way out there. And all I have to do to do that, to, to fill the bucket apparently is just pull back on the stick. Stop. Ah, that's pretty nice. But it's automatically curling the bucket in as I go to fill the bucket up without me needing to do much. All the way out, just pulling back on the stick. It's nice. Yeah. Okay, so you take your hands off the joysticks, the engine idles down for the sake of fuel burn, save fuel, and then there's sensors within the, the control. So all I did was just put my hand on it, the engine ramps back up. That's so cool. That's awesome. That's pretty clever. That's really cool. Wow. wow. Through the whole dig cycle, you don't need full RPMs on the engine. So when you're doing something like dumping, it automatically ramps the engine down just a little bit to save fuel, and it's at least a 10% savings on this mode. We're in the 972. Now we're in this long reach, equipped with Leica grade control. I have never run a long reach before. Uh, okay, Chase, now that the seat heater's off, let's go to work. Oh, yeah. If you want to go further, you press this, this button here. Yeah. And then you and keep it pressed, and then you can go over this. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, this is sweet. How do I tilt the bucket? Yeah, on the, on the mini joystick over there. Oh, wow. Now we're talking. Holy smokes. The, uh, the grade control system is a little wacky because there's so many people yeah. messing with it yesterday. But that's OK. I'll be able to grade this by eye, no questions. I don't need fancy technology to make grade. This is very cool because usually with an excavator you, you kind of you have just your little space but this unlimited options well still limited you're still within your radius but your radius is bigger which gives you many more options have you been arrived before is this your first in a dozer yeah uh, i've been in a dozer i've never been in ah, this yeah, okay yeah so now on the right side yeah Back, you lift the yeah, plate. Pull back. Yeah. And down. Okay. 
in the front. Yeah. Like, yeah. In the front, you have like this the swing. Oh, okay. Yeah. And left and right is name steel. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <coughs> and then is this where is this yeah. forward? Forward. Oh, you you yeah. literally push it forward and back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's very different. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you just push it forward, like that's that's pretty interesting. So we are grading nothing right now. Don't make a hole to the hell. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So, okay, I just for context, I'm in Lee Bear's mobile operating station. You can see I am running that dozer right there. Back up? Yeah, sure, Chase. I just need to pull back on this yeah, control. And if I go forward again, will it go back down yeah, in the same yeah, position? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see here. Would you look at that? Operating for dummies. Wow, yeah. And I am a dummy. You can save that audio bit. If it wasn't right there, I would forget that I'm running a piece of heavy equipment. It yeah. just seems like a video. This station, you can switch to other. Oh, machines. you can run different different yeah. pieces of equipment. Oh. Now in the LH40. On, on this. No kidding. So that is remote right there too. Yeah. Wow. I actually, funny enough, I wanted to run that next. So I don't. I don't even need to get up. I wanted to run. So I was running the dozer right there. I wanted to run the material handler. I don't even need to get up. So now. That's yours. Uh, how do I close? Close. Uh, okay. So you can close it the way you curl. Yes. Yeah. So we're so Chase. Just imagine we're at a nuclear power plant, and this machine is digging nuclear glowing dirt and I don't want to be in that machine but I can sit in this very comfortable tent and run it via remote operator station look at this wow this is this is one of the cooler things I have run that's really cool <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let me let me save up my my coins. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you need a, a little bit more coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Tree care. All right. I can't run this machine, but they're going to show us how this machine can cut trees in the city. Wow. Oh, there's no saw. Yeah, oh play. my. Oh yeah. That's so satisfying. Wow. Ah. Oh, unreal. Oh, look at that thick Oh my word. Yeah, get it. Wow, it just Oh, what is this going to do? Ooh. So it grabs onto the tree and it saws through it from, oh my.
Wow. That's awesome. That's tricky. And you can twist it any which way, huh? Holy smokes. This tree has no idea what's coming. Wow. So you can get it way out there. Where have you been during the show? Out here? Main, mainly here because really? um, I, had, I had one day in the show and uh, then I was mainly here and last week, last week I was already here for sales trainings. All the uh, sales guys came here. We had like 550 people trained here. Since this is a rail excavator, it has the back seat in here as well. And the reason why they have to have the back seat is you have to have a special kind of license to drive equipment on a track, but sometimes the operator doesn't have that license. So the operator can do the operating and the guy with the license can sit in the back and there's a horn and an emergency stop button here. And if he sees something that's going a little, a little wrong, he can hit the emergency stop button. This is a Lee Bear pipe layer. And you can see it has these curtains above the air intake areas on the front of the machine. And that's for if it's running in somewhere like Canada, middle of winter, doing pipe work. They run through the, the winter up there, weather permitting for the most part. You'd lower these curtains down to keep the heat inside of that engine. Up to minus 40, yeah. Minus 40? 40, yeah. So with these down, you can, and the cold weather package on the machine, yep. you can run in minus 40. It's isolation glass, it's uh, additionally engine heating, stuff yeah. like that. With the, with the curtains, then it's uh, good to operate it up down to minus 40. So you'd have the curtains and additional engine heating. Yep. Wow. How much can this lift? This is now, if you compare it with a crane, it's 72 metric tons, uh, meter tons. Yeah. And uh, this block is now 19 and a half tons and we can lift it almost about four meters off the machine. Wow. It's oh, so that indicator. Yeah. You oh, see wow. It at the front and yeah. also on the rear of the gap. And the reason why is when the machine's working together, here's the trench with the pipe. Yeah. And there's one instructor standing on the other side, but he doesn't know the load situation of the system inside. Uh, and so he's he can just uh, working look. according to the traffic lights. Yeah. And says if one is red, okay, a little bit down, others a little bit up, to dis distribute the load equally to all <laughs> the machines. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's Very pretty cool. Uh, Whoa, wow, I've never been on one of these before. That's amazing. This is okay, and now go slowly outwards. And you will see now the capacity or the load situation is rising. And now we're at about 80%. Ah. And, when it, and when it's up 90, it's yelling, then I can switch off the warning tone. But when we are entering 100, then it's yelling again. Yep. Awesome. That's fascinating. Yeah. Anything else you want to know? No, this is great. It's pretty fascinating. It's a pretty simple machine. I mean, it's just kind of three controls. You have your counterweight in, out, and then you have a joystick that controls the boom, boom out, boom back, cable in, cable out. And then your left hand is your track control, no pedals, nothing else. First time running a pipe layer. I mean, running. We need more Lee Bear in America. Okay, that wraps us up at the demonstration area with Lee Bear to get back to the show, which is, you can see the show from here, you can see the cranes. To get back there, we're not going to take this nice VIP shuttle. Why? Because we're trying to save the environment. Oh, hello. We're just on our way to Belmont.